We are going over order of operations. My learning target is I can generate equivalent numerical expressions using order of operations, including whole numbers, ex exponents, and prime factorization. So order of operations is the order mathematicians should follow to solve expressions. So we use PEMDAS, which stands for different things that we're going to go over. And then we solve um, the expressions in the order of those letters. So P represents calculating any, anything inside parentheses or brackets. So that's going to be anything that looks like these symbols right here. All right, then we have E, which means calculate either exponents, roots, which we don't do in sixth grade, and absolute values. And when you calculate them, you're going to calculate them left to right, whatever comes first. All right, and then the MD is multiplication and division. So you're going to calculate whichever comes first, left to right. And then lastly, the A and the S is addition. and subtraction and you're going to calculate whichever comes first from left to right. All right, let's do these practice problems down here using these steps of order of operation. So we have 5 plus 6 times 7, so we're going to do this first. So that's 42 plus 5. So my answer is 47. Number two, I'm going to do parentheses first. So 10 plus 63 divided by 9 is 7 times 2. Then I'm going to do 7 times 2, which is 14. And then I'm going to add these two, 10 plus 14, which is 24. All right, number three, we have two to the third plus seven times six divided by two, which is three minus eight. Then I'm going to do my exponents. Two to the third power is two times two times two. So that is eight. Then I'm going to do seven times three, which is 21. Then 8 plus 21, which is 29, and then minus 8. So 29 minus 8 is 21. Number 4, we're going to solve the parentheses first. Negative 7 plus, and that's going to be 16 times 3. So 14 minus 9, so different signs so subtract, which is 9, to get the sign of the bigger number, times 3, so that would be 14 minus 27. Keep change, change. I subtract these, that's 13, take the sign of the bigger absolute value, so negative 13. All right, number five, I'm going to multiply these first. So negative 40 plus 12 minus 3. Negative 40 plus 12, I'm going to subtract these and take the sign of the bigger absolute value. So that would be negative 28 minus 3. And then I'm going to keep change, change. So that would be negative 31.
All right, we're going to do what's in the brackets first, and within that, we're going to do what's in the parentheses first. So 4 divided by 2 times 21 plus 10. So then we're going to do 4 divided by 2, which is 2 times 21 plus 10. And then that would be 42 plus 10, so we end up with 52. Number 7, 54 divided by 6 is 9 plus 5 squared, so that would be 9 plus 25, which is 34. Number eight, absolute value of four minus seven, that's gonna be negative three plus six to the third power divided by three. So that absolute value of negative three is three. Plus six to the third power would be six times six times six. So 36 times six. So 216 divided by 3. So I'm going to do that division next. Goes into 221 7 times. Goes into 6 2 times. So 3 plus 72. And that is going to be 75. All right, 8 squared divided by negative 64 divided by 2 is going to be negative 32 plus 12 minus 8. 8 squared is 64 divided by negative 32 plus 12 minus 8. 64 divided by negative 32 is going to be negative 2 plus 12 minus 8. Negative 2 plus 12 is going to be 10 minus 8, and then we get 2. You really have to know your integer rules to be able to do these different signs and everything with the order of operations. All right. 5 minus 6 times 5 times 2 divided by 10. Then we have 5 minus 30, because 6 times 5 is 30, times 2 divided by 10. 5 minus 60 divided by 10. And then 5 minus 6, so we get negative 1. Nine plus eight minus, we're going to do what's in parentheses first. So negative four plus negative 12 is negative 16 times three to the fourth power. Absolute value of a negative 16 is 16. Three to the fourth power is going to be... 81, so 9 plus 8 minus 16 times 81. So we are going to do 16 times 81. So 9 plus 8 minus 1,296. So then we have 17 minus 1,296. Keep change, change. 
I'm going to subtract these and then keep the sign of the greater absolute value. So it would be negative 1,279. All right, last one. We have 24 plus 2, which is 26, divided by 13 and minus 7. 26 divided by 13 is 2, minus 7. Keep change, change. We're going to subtract these, which is 5, and take the sign of the greater absolute value, so negative 5.